Well, with just one week to go until Election Day, voters are turning out at a record-setting pace. The Secretary of State estimates half of Ohio voters could cast their ballots before November 3rd. NBC4's Catherine Ross explains who's voting early and what the large numbers could mean for election results. Well, we expected many voters would take advantage of both early voting and absentee by mail options this year, but many didn't realize just how record-breaking those numbers would be. Ohio State student Jillian Finkel proudly voted in her first presidential election. I think it's exciting being able to vote in an election where most of the country is really mobilized. She and student-led organization OSU Votes are literally mobilizing voters, transporting many young people to the Franklin County Early Vote Center. It's part of an initiative to boost turnout, and Finkel says this year students appear eager to turn out. There's this kind of resiliency where we really, really want to meet that challenge and be creative in the ways we get out the vote. And the numbers prove it. These are records for early voting. I think most of the projections for voter turnout this year are uh, off the charts. So far in Franklin County, at least 73,000 people have voted in person at the Early Vote Center. Another 244,000 cast absentee ballots by mail or dropped them off in ballot boxes. And statewide turnout is triple what it was at this time in 2016. It's um, so different with the COVID crisis, and I think people here in Ohio feel that very deeply. Analysts say historically, large turnout benefited Democrats, but this year, both the health crisis and general excitement is encouraging more people to vote early. And some say this week, you can expect to hear from candidates hoping to keep the momentum going. If your name is on a list, this is the week that you're going to be bombarded with texts and phone calls uh, as campaigns try to turn out as many of their voters as they possibly can. The early vote center here is open every day until election day. The deadline to request an absentee ballot is noon on Saturday, but the Secretary of State's office recommends requesting one today to make sure it arrives on time. Local Freeman Columbus, Captain Ross, NBC4.